Hey. Hey. Well, guys, I'm seeing it. How dare you be injured? I don't know if it's that. You have a bacterial injury. You have been poisoned <laughs> by life. Look, I'm not gonna lie. When I I took off a few days last week of work, and I went and hung out with my my grandparents because we like to go thrifting and see what kind of deals we can get. And I didn't get to do that with them at all last year because of COVID. And luckily, they never got sick and they're vaccinated. So we nailed it. Yeah, we went to a whole other state to go thrifting. That that was a big deal. It was an occasion. I said, "Oh, Ashley's going with us. We got to go big or go home." <laughs> my You're doctor's like, like, well, you might have picked something up from thrifting last week. Aside from all these amazing savings. Yeah. Well, and when I think about it, you got to remember, like, I've been wearing a mask, mm -hmm. especially a heavy-duty mask, mm -hmm. a lot of the past year in public. So my immune system isn't really used to a lot of stuff here lately. Yeah, everybody's allergies this year have been really shitty. And that's what my nurse practitioner told me today, was that a lot of people come in for really bad allergies this year. And I wonder, maybe it's because we've been masked up from COVID that now we're suffering because we weren't exposed to the pollen earlier in the year. I don't know. So what you're saying is the masks are killing us. We should take them off right now. No. <laughs> no. I mean, As a type I one have diabetic, done my best. Please wear your fucking mask. I have done my best to follow the CDC's guidelines, much to... Some family and friends uh, this May. That happens. But you know what? I can only, I can only listen to the experts. I'm not an expert. I don't like expert science. Listening. Yeah, I like to follow rules when they're put in place and help people for fucking once. Right. And uh, yeah, just trying to go out more often now. I still wear a mask in public. Like if we go out to eat. I've started going out to eat again, trying to get used to that. I will wear my mask in the restaurant until the food gets there. Then I'll eat, and then when I'm done, I'll put my mask back on. Yeah. I think that's fair. And no one's giving me crap for it. I'll get looks, but it's kind of just like, what do you want, bitch? Take a picture. Don't make yeah, me smile because you can't tell if I am or not. <laughs> I love that. All right. Let's so, get doing tonight. Going. so I got to court seam. And yes. we're just gonna wander around here a little bit, pick up some, some free 99 shit, hopefully. Did I say the end? Alright, so I think I did all this right at the end. This is Court Seam, a village of orphans and people running from the monsters. Oh my god. Same. Well, you know what? That's like every fucking town, truly. So. Wow, did you see the babe that came out of that huge mansion? What a set of legs. Oh, fuck you. She has several legs. Wait. If it's who I'm thinking of, she has a massive skirt on. Don't when I wa <laughs> when I'm watching the children, I see a glimpse of hope in this wasteland. You had me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. It was real sketchy, especially because you're hanging out in this house with no bed or anything alone. Nah, it's all good. I'm gonna turn the TV down just a smidge. Uh, here we go. There you go. There you go. We nailed it. All right. This place gives me the creeps. Then why are you here? Like the bar escape. or the town? <laughs> Please make yourself at home. That was kind of... The children like songs about heroic knights slaying monsters. I fucking bet! It's a damn sight better than what we got going on out here. Yes! Y'all lucky my ass finally showed another crest graph. <laughs> Thanks. Mr. Maxwell came to this town and spent his fortune on the children. Well, thank you, Maxwell. That was mighty kind of you. Are you a mole? A long time ago, Mr. Maxwell began researching ancient technology in the town of Malava. He moved here to house orphans that he took in from the wastelands. It's a lot of work to raise that many orphans. His two daughters act like big sisters to all of them. Well, damn, this sounds kind of got, got it made. That's nice. Like, that's so many children, right? Oh, yeah, that's a shit ton of kids. You gotta think, there's gotta be a lot of kids wandering the wasteland because their parents got murdered. Or their town got burned down and shit. We were traveling by the caravan when those bandits attacked. And by bandits, I mean demons. <laughs> and you wonder why I can't give voice work. <laughs> I'm giving you spun gold. 
Is that right? Mm-hmm. If you guys hear a kitty cat, it's because there is a kitty cat. She's been up in her kennel all day because she likes to do zoomies and run around on me and I'm just sick and I don't, I don't really, I'm not feeling that right now. Next time the boss comes back, we're going to go on a picnic. Hell yeah, that boss sounds lit. <laughs> uh, wait, are they paying? He pays us in corn cabs. There it is. Man, at least you get to eat. It'd be worse. Even children must stick together. What happened? My sister and I grew up in the orphanage. It's cute that y'all get to live together. This seems like a really nice place. And it's it's nice they've got fresh fucking water just running through the middle. And like some JRPGs I can think of that involve an orphanage, at least you all remember each other being in said orphanage. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I didn't even beat that game. I actually got to that part and I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what the hell is this? Geo ring, power of Earth. But what does that mean? Power of evil. Now, if it gives you that ability on your normal attack, mm -hmm. that might be good. I wouldn't have to cast Holy and. Do I need to do a Google right quick and see? Uh, I'll buy one of each. Oh, oh shit, yeah. It's a bad stat drop though, just because of. They've already got other shit quit. <laughs> this is worthless. Oh my god. Oh no. They finally reached the same strength. Who am I gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Jack. The long game has finally ended. Well, I came in here. Here we go. Just wanted to arrange what I've got. So can you buy potion berries yet? Because when I left off, you could not. No. I don't know if you ever can. I, truly, I really don't remember. The children who grew up in the orphanage always help out the new kids. They don't want them to feel the loneliness that they had to experience. Well, that's good. Because a lot of places, the kids aren't cool like that. It's like, no, if I went through it, you all gotta go through it. And it's just not the way. Oh my god, I'm 81. You have so many items. Alright. I'll wander out a little bit more. For the next several hours, the heroes wandered around with no aim in sight. I've got a dog to hit. Wait. You've done it. You've cracked this case. My whole body feels weird. It doesn't feel like my body. Oh. Hey. Oh, I thought my boss came back. Wait, why do you have a boss? You're an infant! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. This poor Children. man. A book entitled The Secrets of Rings. Oh, thank fuck! Someone explain <laughs> them. Rings worn on the left hand can enhance weapons or magic. Different rings can be used for different purposes. For example... Oh, my God. The rest of the passage is smudged by children's scribblings. <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> Jane is our breadwinner, but we have no idea how she gets the money. wonder what Jane that could be. I'm proud of our boys. We're proud of our boss. I want to be like her. That's really nice. I'm like boys having female role models too. That's important. We've called her our boss for years. It's unusual to call her sister Jane. Can we? Hey. Jessica is beautiful and very nice. Jane is the toughest when it comes to fighting, but she's also the nicest of all. Hmm. Well, they did say Maxwell has two daughters. Hello, nun. I don't trust you. is destroying something. Well, I don't know if it picks up, but if it's various sounds of destruction in the background, yes, that is the cat. Is it Jesse or is it the cat? We'll just never know. It's me. I'm doing it. Right, let's see where <laughs> the, the Maxwell estate is. Fuck. Oh god, there's a cat climbing my foot. I'm glad I have socks on. The Maxwell estate. Hey, where y'all been? Way is Malama from here? I feel like that's not close. It's but, closer than you think, but further than you'd like. Look, after getting thrown around in space by all those ill satellites and shit, it's just my, my frame of reference for the map of this whole planet is just skewed, so. I didn't pick up anything. Yeah. 
I guess this is the girls' rooms. Girls' rooms. He's still slow as fuck. He's kind of like Cecilia. He's got three full ass guns on him. One of which is a rocket launcher. I should give that to her. That was a dick move. My bad. He was one point away from 90, though. You know, I just have to make it even. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, uh, mind goblins, as they are termed. <laughs> a book entitled Controlling a Golem. Hey, why do you have this? The golems are voice activated by a pre-registered voice. They can also be controlled by a musical instrument being played at a certain frequency. Well, that's terrifying. Also known as the brown note. I am Nikolai Maxwell. I'm the armsmeister in this tiny village. Long ago, I was one of six who studied at the old man's lab. The Zeppet Rough Knight Laboratory led in the study of ancient technology. And you? What? Rudy Rough Knight? You're the old man's grandchild? Sorry, we used to call Meister Zeppet the old man. How is he? It's been close to 15 years. Oh, he died. Oh, yeah, he's probably the, the grave at the beginning of the game. You would think. Rudy starts to talk about his dream chaser days before he met Jack and Cecilia. He spoke? Other than the one line? He's He's got two in this game. Thank you, Pirate Kitty. <laughs> She's literally <laughs> on my shoulder. <laughs> Jump. Girl, that's a high jump. You better not climb that curtain either. Zeppet Rough Knight. He thought of Zeppet as his father. He was an old dream chaser who'd raised Rudy since infancy. Man, that's real big of him. Mm -hmm. Being a single grandparent raising a kid. Man, that's rough. A rough night. And I was raised by a single mom. But at least she was young and had energy, you know? Mm hmm. During their travels, Zeppet taught Rudy the life of a dream chaser, but more importantly, he gave Rudy a heart. A heart to protect the ones he loved. Oh my god. You will fucking break me today at 5.50 in the afternoon. Oh my god. What if we can go find this house? You'd hope. One day, the inevitable happened and the old man's traveling days came to an end. Rudy was now tasting the meaning of being alone. Oh my god. That is the most desolate place! Jesus. How'd you bury him there? You know, I wondered that when I was a kid, but I think it's just supposed to be it's a more marker. like a, yeah, a memorial. <laughs> Rudy buried the remains of the old dream chaser on a hill that the old man was fond of. The rest is history. So maybe he was cremated. That would make more sense, because if you try to dig into that, it's just going to snap off. Sorry to hear that. He was... That's quite an arm you've got there! <laughs> Do you know how to use it properly? I guess the arm would not have synchronized with you if you did not know how. My daughter Jane is also capable of synchronizing with an arm, but not nearly as powerful as what you have here. You need my fucking rocket launcher? Papa, I'm home! What are you guys doing at my house? Get the fuck out! Yeah. Jane, do you know these people? Look, this is me when I come home from work. I keep my personal life and my work separate. When I come home and work is there, we have a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, no, Papa, I just met them a little while ago. Uh, <laughs> Definitely didn't try to kill him or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you even say that? We didn't <laughs> fight a fucking demon. I almost get crushed to death or nothing. Why are you in such a hurry? I'll be upstairs. Please make yourself at home. Jane's a good daughter. It's because of her that I can keep the orphanage running. Go to the southeast and cross the shallow water. There you'll find the epitaph of the sea wind. It is an uncompleted tower we use in the research of a flight machine. Oh shit! The research meister, Zeppet, and myself left behind maybe junk to some, but you might find a use for some of it. Take this key. It may look funky, but it will get you inside. <laughs> Many of Zeppet's belongings from before Rudy was born are still there. It's a fucking wind-up key? Sure. I guess I wouldn't expect that to get into something mysterious. You gotta open up a grandfather clock to go in the joints. <laughs> I'm studying the workings of the arms of Nikolai. I feel like a full disciple now. If you want your arm modified, please allow me. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I've still got it. Everything's maxed out. <laughs> please let me work on your arms. I don't think they upgrade anymore. <laughs> he gets like six or seven fucking guns, so... I'm gonna be tearing ass. Can he omni-slash with the guns at any point? Thank you for what you've done for my mistress. We'll be holding a humble banquet on your behalf. The mistress is waiting for you. Hope you have a good time. Oh, well that's sweet. But I guess I did help her get a chunk of that money she's gonna be spending on this fucking party. 